Okay, this document has probably been created in an older version of Word. It has seven paragraphs, and what's happening is something that used to happen quite often. There is empty paragraphs between each paragraph. We used to get into the habit of when I wanted to create a new paragraph, I would hit enter, then hit enter again so that I would have a blank space an empty line separating my paragraphs. But what I was really doing, because remember, every time I hit that Enter key, I'm creating a new paragraph, is I was creating an extra paragraph with nothing in it. Let me go ahead and show our paragraph marks by clicking on this little symbol. This little, it looks kind of like a backwards P. That's the symbol for my show hide paragraph marks. And I'm going to go ahead and click that. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Every one of these is a new paragraph. And see this? We have one, two, three, four, five, six empty paragraphs in here that we don't need. So I am going to go and delete those and show you how 2007 gets around that now. It's part of the default. And show you something that you can do with either old documents or your new documents if you want to change that paragraph spacing. Let me turn this off again. Now, Paragraph spacing is individual per paragraph. So if I want to space between each of these paragraphs or after each of these paragraphs, I'm going to have to select the entire document. Then I will go here to this little drop down, and you will see I have the choice of adding space before paragraph or after. I'm going to add it after. That always just seemed to make more sense to me. And I'm going to click there and see that. It went ahead and put those blank spaces back between our paragraphs. But if I turn on my paragraph marks again, you'll see it didn't create new paragraphs. It just gave me 12 points of space between each paragraph. And that's what I wanted because less paragraphs is actually a lot easier to work with later on if you get into more complex things. Let's go ahead and let's take a look here now. This little button here. We'll open up my paragraph window and you will see spacing before and after it's 12 points after. So let's go ahead and let's try and change it. Once again, I'm going to select all of my text and I will remove the space after the paragraph. Now notice that my first paragraph here is equal with my top margin. And watch what happens if I go ahead and add the space before the paragraph. See that it pushes it down. And I guess it's visually about the same. It's kind of a personal preference. Like I said before, I like to go ahead and have it after the paragraph. So I'm going to go back up here, remove the space before the paragraph, and add my space after the paragraph. I want to go ahead and add more space between this title and the first paragraph. So I am going to just click somewhere in that first paragraph. I don't have to select the whole thing. And I'm going to go to my paragraph window and increase that space. Well, let's double it. Let's make it 24 points. And see, it only affected that paragraph, the space after that paragraph. So now you can see how you can add space to your, between your paragraphs, remove space, change the size of that spacing. And if you go ahead and create a new document, let's go ahead and take a look. By default, Word 2007 already has it set to be 10 points after every paragraph. So give me a minute here while I put in a paragraph for you. Okay, I finished that paragraph. Now I'm going to go ahead and I just hit enter and see that it gave me that space. I just hit my enter one time. And let's take a look. See, that's what I was talking about. No extra paragraphs. And if I look at my paragraph window, you'll see it still gives me 10 points after each paragraph. So that is a great new feature in Word 2007 and a way for you to go ahead and get a handle on what's happening with your paragraphs and get rid of those blank ones.
And that's all for paragraph spacing. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.